I did speak to others who participated in projects that Catholic Relief Services worked on together with the Catholic Church in Rwanda. Um, and these uh, were, were people who lived through the genocide, people who were victims themselves, whose spouses were killed, uh, for example, um, as well as talking to some people who were put in prison um, and accused of genocide crimes. What was so moving to me was instances when I would see those people together, um, people who lived in the same community, Catholic Relief Services and the church were, were working closely with communities to try to reconcile people um, from opposing sides, I guess you could say, in the genocide. People who lost members of their families and then the, the people who were accused of killing members of their families. Trying to bring them together just to, to talk, um, to un try to get to know each other better after all this time of not talking, even though they may have been neighbors 20 years ago, um, and to give them an opportunity to support each other because both sides are really hurting, um, and that continues today. Um, the results of the genocide are still very much being felt. Um, people who lost their land, people who lost their houses, um, and are struggling to rebuild their lives still. Um, of course, in addition to the loss of loved ones. Um, people who were in jail for five years, for 10 years, you can imagine they're coming back with nothing um, and trying to create a life and trying to live with guilt, trying to live with neighbors who they um, committed crimes against. So some of the most moving moments that I had working with Catholic Relief Services was hearing about how some of these people had reconciled, which is a very difficult thing and I think is only possible through faith. Thank you.